Peppa Pig. Peppa meets Kylie Kangaroo. It is a lovely sunny day, and Mr. and Mrs. Kangaroo have come to visit Mummy and Daddy Pig. Good eye, Mr. Pig, says Mr. Kangaroo. We met at the airport a while ago, and you said we could visit, remember? Did I? replies Daddy Pig, a bit confused. We didn't have Kylie or Joey back then, adds Mrs. Kangaroo. Say hello, kids. Hello, I'm Kylie Kangaroo, says Kylie. I'm Peppa Pig, snorts Peppa. And this is my little brother, George. <laughs> this is my little brother, Joey, says Kylie, pointing at Mrs. Kangaroo. Joey lives in Mrs. Kangaroo's pocket. He peeks his head out and surprises everyone. <laughs> Laugh Peppa and George. Mr. Kangaroo asks Daddy Pig if he's hungry. I'm always hungry, <laughs> replies Daddy Pig, rubbing his belly. No worries, says Mr. Kangaroo, getting out the barbecue. We'll make lunch for everyone. Do you like corn on the cob? asks Mrs. Kangaroo. Yummy, say Mummy and Daddy Pig. Let's hope it doesn't rain, says Daddy Pig. It always rains when we have a barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> While lunch is cooking, Peppa and George want to jump up and down in muddy puddles, but they can't find any. We can still do jumping, says Peppa. Watch this. Peppa jumps as high as she can. Now you try, Kylie, she says. Kylie jumps high into the air. I like jumping too, she says. Whee! Wow! Gasped Peppa and George amazed. Kangaroos can jump very high. <laughs> We're playing jumping, says Peppa when Rebecca Rabbit arrives. Watch this, squeaks Rebecca, jumping as high as she can. Peppa asks Kylie to show Rebecca how high she can jump. Wow! gasped Rebecca, watching Kylie spring up into the air. Pedro Pony bounces into the garden on his space hopper. Kylie can jump higher than that, says Peppa. Show him, Kylie. Wow! gasped Pedro, watching Kylie leap up into the air. Kylie is the best at jumping because she's a kangaroo. Food's ready! calls Mr. Kangaroo, but just as they are about to eat, it starts to rain. Oh dear, sighs Daddy Pig. No worries, says Mr. Kangaroo, putting up a huge umbrella. The rain makes eating outside more fun. After they finish their corn, the rain stops and the sun comes out again. The rain makes lots of muddy puddles too, says Peppa, jumping up and down. Wow, gasps Kylie. That looks really fun. Can we try it as well? Everyone joins Peppa, and they all make a giant muddy puddle. I'm the best at jumping in because I'm a kangaroo, says Kylie. But Peppa is the best at jumping up and down in muddy puddles. The end. Peppa Pig. Richard Rabbit comes to play. Peppa and George are playing in their bedroom. Let's build a house, says Peppa. House snorts George. <laughs> Daddy Pig shouts up the stairs. George, Richard Rabbit is here. George's best friend, Richard, 
has come to play. George doesn't want to build a house anymore. He wants to play catch with Richard. <laughs> Squeaks Richard. <laughs> Snorts George. George and Richard start a new game. They turn the bedroom into dinosaur land. Dinosaur! Roar! <laughs> Roars George. You're too noisy, says Peppa, and I've got no one to play with. <laughs> Mammy Pig invites a friend over for Peppa. Now she has someone to play with too. George, Richard, shouts Peppa. Susie is here. <coughs> Susie Sheep is wearing her nurse's outfit today. Peppa and Susie tidy up George and Richard's toy. This is not dinosaur land, says Susie. This is a hospital. <coughs> a hospital must be kept clean and tidy, add Peppa. <coughs> Peppa takes away George and Richard's dinosaurs. These dinosaurs look ill, she says. They must go to bed. George and Richard gasp. Dinosaur! <coughs> Shh, says Susie. <coughs> Quiet in the hospital. George and Richard decide to play something else. Choo choo! Choo choo! The bedroom is not a hospital anymore. Now it is George and Richard's railway station. <coughs> Peppa and Susie don't want a railway station in the middle of their hospital. We don't like little children's games, says Peppa. <coughs> Susie nods. We like grown-up games. <coughs> Peppa and Susie get out the dressing up things. Now the bedroom is Fairyland. There aren't any trains in Fairyland, says Peppa. <coughs> Susie agrees. Only pretty things are allowed. <coughs> George and Richard burst into tears. <coughs> Daddy Pig and Mummy Pig run up the stairs. What's all this crying about? They ask. George and Richard don't like grown-up games. Peppa and Susie don't like little children's games. Daddy Pig has an idea. He takes everyone outside. Look at the muddy puddles, he cries. George and Richard cheer. So do Peppa and Susie. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Lee Peppa Pig, Peppa's Sandpit. <laughs> Peppa and her friends are playing in the sandpit. This sandpit is our desert island, decides Peppa. We will live here forever. <laughs> if we are going to live here forever, I want it to be nice, <laughs> says Susie Sheep. The desert island just needs some houses, says Peppa. <gasps> and roads, <coughs> barks Danny Dog. And shops, <coughs> says Susie Sheep. <coughs> Dinosaur, shout George and Richard. <coughs> yes, snorts Peppa. The desert island can have dinosaurs too. Emily Elephant looks at the desert island. She thinks that it needs trees. Wow! Where are we going to get trees from? <coughs> asks Susie. Danny Dog has an idea. We have to drive big trucks around the world and look for trees. <coughs> the dinosaurs guard the desert island while the others go to find some trees. <coughs> Hello, Mummy Rabbit, <coughs> says Danny. Have you got any spare trees? <coughs> Mummy Rabbit picks up some sticks. There you go. Peppa and her friends drive their trucks back around the world. Wow. They plant the trees. There, <coughs> says Peppa. We will live here forever. Candy Cat and Zoe Zebra come to see the desert island. 
It would be really good if it had a lake. Meow. Says Candy. <coughs> Danny digs a lake. Now it needs some water. The children pretend to fly around the world looking for water. <laughs> Pedro Pony is playing on the roundabout. I know where there is pretend snow, he says. Oh. We can melt it to get pretend water. Wow. This is a pretend mountain, shouts Pedro. Pedro climbs to the top of the mountain, but there is no snow up there. It has melted in the sun. Oh. Can we pretend it hasn't melted? <laughs> says Susie. No, neighs Pedro. It has melted good and proper. <laughs> Candy spots Daddy Pig. He is drinking from the water fountain. Can we have some water in our bucket, please? <coughs> asks Peppa. Ho oh, ho, snorts Daddy Pig. Of course. <laughs> the children fly back to the desert island. Peppa fills up the lake. We've got water, giggles Peppa. <laughs> Freddy Fox arrives. The desert island is nearly ready. If only it had some flags. Sighs Zoe. <laughs> Mr. Fox takes a look in his van. He has got everything in his van. Wow. How about these? He grins. <laughs> now the desert island is perfect. It has trees, roads, shops, dinosaurs, flags, and a real lake. <laughs> we can live here forever and ever. <laughs> Cheers, Peppa. <laughs> the end. Peppa Pig. Peppa loves our planet. It was Love Our Planet Week at Playgroup. Peppa and her friends were very excited. Welcome, children, said Madame Gazelle pointing to a picture of the world. This is Earth, the planet we live on. Oh. Wow, gasped the children. The little things we do to look after our planet can make a big difference, continued Madame Gazelle. Can anybody think of some things we can do to help? Recycle, cried Peppa. Use less water, said Pedro Pony. Grow our own snacks, squeaked Rebecca Rabbit. Walk not drive, said Zoe Zebra. Save electricity, <coughs> barked Danny Dog, switching off the light. All excellent ideas, said Madame Gazelle. Well done, but let's turn the lights back on for now, Danny, so we can see. OK said Danny. <coughs> now, children, I'd like you each to make a Love Our Planet scrapbook at home, said Madame Gazelle. You can fill it with all the things you do to help look after our planet and then bring it in for show and tell. <coughs> Ooh, gasped Peppa and her friends excitedly. They loved making scrapbooks and they loved show and tell. At home time, Daddy Pig arrived with Peppa and George's scooters. Can we scooter home every day, Daddy? asked Peppa. <coughs> it will be better for our planet if we don't use the car. Great idea, Peppa, said Daddy Pig. I love scootering. <coughs> Daddy Pig raced off and Peppa and George scootered after him. Wait for us, Daddy, cried Peppa. When they got home, Peppa and George helped Mummy and Daddy Pig with dinner. If we put the peelings in the waste bin, Grandpa can use the compost for his garden, said Peppa. Then he can look after our planet too. Lovely idea, Peppa, said Mummy Pig. We can take them to Grandpa tomorrow. 
The next day, Peppa and George scootered over to Granny and Grandpa Pig's house with the food waste bin. Thank you, Peppa, said Grandpa Pig, thrilled with his gift. Over time, these peelings will turn into compost, which will be very fantastic food for my plants and will help my garden grow very nicely. And it will help look after our planet, said Peppa. <coughs> then Grandpa Pig had a surprise. He gave Peppa and George a window box to take home. These flowers are very important, he explained. Bees and butterflies love them. We need insects to help plants make seeds. Thank you, Grandpa, cried Peppa, buzzing around and pretending to be a bee. I'm a busy bee, looking after our planet. Buzz, buzz, George giggled. <laughs> when they arrived home from Granny and Grandpa Pig's house, Peppa and George watered their lovely new window box. Look, George, cried Peppa. All these bees and butterflies have come to visit our new flowers. We're looking after our planet. After lunch, it was time to pop to the shops. Daddy, remember to bring some old shopping bags so we don't have to get new ones, said Peppa. <coughs> Great idea, Peppa, said Daddy Pig, picking up some shopping bags to reuse. Right, let's go. <coughs> Just as they were leaving, George pointed to the light switch. He wants to turn off the light to look after our planet explained Peppa. Thank you, George, said Mummy Pig. I'll do it for you. From now on, your job can be to remind us to turn off the lights. George grinned. He was very happy with his new job. <laughs> that evening, Peppa and George tidied up and put everything into the right recycling bin. Let's sing the recycling song, said Peppa. Recycle, recycle, we're going to recycle tin cans, bottles, newspapers. Recycle, recycle, we're going to recycle. We'll take everything to Mr. Bull's recycling depot tomorrow, said Mummy Pig. But there's still one more thing left for us to do today. Our scrapbooks, cheered Peppa. Peppa and George used some of the cardboard from the recycling bin to make their Love Our Planet scrapbooks. Then they drew and stuck in pictures of all the different things they had done to help look after our planet. Wow, what lovely scrapbooks, said Daddy Pig. They're recycled, Daddy, said Peppa proudly. At bedtime, Daddy Pig was the last one to brush his teeth. Make sure you turn off the tap while you're brushing, Daddy, said Peppa. That way you won't waste any water. Slank slapper, mumbled Daddy Pig through a mouthful of toothpaste. The next morning at Playgroup, Peppa, George and their friends showed Madame Gazelle their Love Our Planet scrapbooks. Fantastic work, children, said Madame Gazelle. You found lots of ways to look after our planet. I hope you've all learned that when it comes to looking after our planet, every little thing makes a... Big difference! Hooray! shouted Peppa and her friends, finishing Madame Gazelle's sentence for her. Peppa, George, and their friends love our planet. Everyone loves our planet. The end. Peppa Pig Recycling Fun. Mr. Bull the Bin Man is collecting the rubbish. 
It is early in the morning, so he tries to be as quiet as he can. Crash, smash, smash! But Mr. Bull is not very good at being quiet. Hello, Mr. Bull, snorts Daddy Pig, Peppa and George. Hello, everyone, says Mr. Bull. Peppa and George are helping to clear up the breakfast things. We don't put bottles in the rubbish bin. They can be recycled, says Mammy Pig. Soon they have collected enough things so Peppa and her family set off for the recycle center. Mammy Pig has the bottles and Peppa has the tin cans. George has the newspapers. Is everybody ready? asked Daddy Pig. Yes, shout Peppa and George. Clink, clink, rattle, rattle, rustle, rustle. Soon they arrive at Miss Rabbit's recycle center. Miss Rabbit is sitting up high up inside a big crane. She is busy recycling all the rusty old cars. It is very noisy. Who knows which bin the bottles go in? asks Mummy Pig. The green one, says Peppa. That's right, snorts Daddy Pig. Clink, clink. And the cans go in the blue one, says Peppa. Well done, Peppa, says Mummy Pig. Rattle, rattle. Daddy Pig lifts George up so he can empty the newspapers into the red bin. Rustle, rustle. Where's our car gone? asks Daddy Pig. Stand back, shouts Miss Rabbit from up above them. Miss Rabbit is about to recycle Peppa's car. Stop, shouts Peppa. Our car isn't old and rusty. Ha ha, silly me, says Miss Rabbit. I just love recycling. So do we, laughs Peppa. But we also love our little car. The End Peppa Pig and the Earth Day Adventure <coughs> It's Earth Day and Peppa Pig and her family are ready to celebrate with a visit to the Botanical Gardens. Wow! Before they go, Peppa and George sort the recycling. <gasps> Newspapers go in the red bin. Cans go in the blue bin. And bottles go in the green bin. Vegetable scraps and eggshells go into the compost bin, says Peppa. Grandpa Pig will use the compost in his garden. Eww, says George. <laughs> it's time to go, and Daddy Pig has a surprise. An electric car. This car runs on batteries instead of gas. That helps the air stay clean. The car even has a name. It is called Roger. <whistles> this car can drive itself, says Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa and George look out the window on the way to the botanical gardens. Look, says Peppa, a windmill. <whistles> Ew, says George. Mr. Bull built a windmill near my school, says Peppa. The wind turns the blades and they make electricity. <coughs> Whoosh, says George. <coughs> At the Botanical Gardens, Peppa and her family meet Miss Rabbit. Welcome, she says. Would you like to see the wildflower garden? Yes, please, says Peppa. <laughs> Look at all the bees, says Mammy Pig. The bees and flowers help each other. Miss Rabbit tells them. The bees take pollen from one flower and move it to another one. That helps a flower make seeds which grow into new flowers. Wow. Peppa and her family visit the room with cacti and palm trees. Oh. Peppa sees a new plant. <coughs> what is that? She says. 
That is a Venus fly trap, Miss Rabbit says. It eats flies. Peppa and George watch while the plant eats a fly. Wow, says Peppa. Jump, says George. The next room is very wet. This is a rainforest garden, says Miss Rabbit. These plants need lots of water. Miss Rabbit flips a switch and turns on the rain. Next, they head outside to the children's garden, where they find something really special. A muddy puddle. <coughs> Peppa's friends are visiting the botanical gardens today too. Hello, Susie Sheep. Hello, Pedro Pony. Hello, Mandy Mouse, she says. <laughs> On the way home, Daddy has a rest while Roger drives the car. Wow. It's like magic, says Peppa. Police officers Panda and Squirrel stop Daddy Pig's car because Daddy Pig doesn't have his hands on the wheel. But it's okay, Roger is driving. Roger shows his driver's license to the officers. It's dark when the family returns home. It has been a great Earth Day. Will you be all right out here, Roger? <coughs> Asks Peppa. Oh, yes, says Roger. Good night, Peppa. <coughs> Good night, Roger, <coughs> says Peppa. Happy Earth Day! <coughs> the end. Peppa Pig and a Camping Trip <coughs> Peppa and her brother George are very excited. They're going on vacation. <coughs> Daddy Pig is bringing a surprise. <coughs> What's that? asks Peppa when Daddy Pig arrives. It's a camper van says Daddy Pig. <laughs> yes, says Mummy Pig. We borrowed it for our trip. <coughs> it does everything, says Daddy Pig. <coughs> this button here is for the sink. And this one is for the beds. Wow! <coughs> the beds? <coughs> asks Peppa. Just wait, says Daddy Pig. This camper van is full of surprises. <laughs> After a long drive, Peppa and her family arrive at the campsite. <coughs> it's time for bed, says Daddy Pig. But where will we sleep? <coughs> asks Peppa. <coughs> Mummy Pig and I will sleep on this bed, says Daddy Pig. <laughs> And you two will sleep upstairs, like you always do, says Mummy Pig. <coughs> Daddy Pig pushes a button. The camper van's roof is lifting up. The camper van is just like our little house, says Peppa. <laughs> the next morning, the sun is shining. Since we're outdoors, let's spend the day looking at nature, says Mummy Pig. <coughs> Good idea, says Daddy Pig. What should we do? Well, there's lots of fun places we can visit, said Mummy Pig. <coughs> How about Duckland? <coughs> What's Duckland? <coughs> asked Peppa. <coughs> It's a wide river full of ducks, says Mummy Pig. Bark, bark. Peppa and George love ducks. <coughs> Let's go to Duckland, says Peppa. <laughs> Peppa 
When they arrive at Duckland, Miss Rabbit gives them their tickets. Enjoy the ducks, she says. But the river is empty. Where are the ducks? asks Peppa. Maybe they're on vacation too, says Mummy Pig. Let's wait for them while we have our picnic lunch. Hmm. I don't like to wait, Mummy, says Peppa. Cheer up, Peppa. The ducks always turn up when we have picnics, says Daddy Pig. <laughs> Look, says Peppa. It's the ducks. There are lots of them. Wow. All the ducks brothers and sisters are here. And aunties and uncles, I bet, too, says Peppa. <laughs> what about Granny and Grandpa ducks, asks Mummy. <laughs> They're here, too, says Peppa. The whole duck family. I love duck land. <laughs> Soon it's time to head back to the campsite. Everybody in, says Daddy Pig. I know a shortcut back to camp. Oh. A shortcut? Where are we going? <coughs> Straight ahead, says Daddy Pig. Oh. The camper van creeps towards the river's edge. But Daddy, says Peppa, <coughs> we can't drive into the water. <coughs> Don't worry, says Daddy Pig. <laughs> Mummy Pig pushes a button on the dashboard. Like I said, this camper van does everything. Wow! Daddy Pig drives straight into the river. The camper van has turned into a boat. Ahoy! Peppa and her family arrive back at the campsite. What will we do next? asks Peppa. <coughs> How about a nature walk? asks Mummy Pig. <coughs> Splendid idea, says Daddy Pig. <coughs> the camper van has a treadmill, of course. We'll set it up with a nice view of the trees. <laughs> Peppa laughs. But Daddy, we can just walk through the woods. <coughs> Peppa and George love to take walks outside. They spot lots of animals. They see a bird, a grasshopper and a hedgehog. Oh. Hello, hedgehog, <coughs> says Peppa. <laughs> Peppa and George keep walking. Look at all the sticks on the ground, <coughs> says Peppa. Daddy Pig told us to collect some on our nature walk. I wonder what they're for. <coughs> we'll use them to cook our dinner, says Mummy Pig. <coughs> but first we have to pitch our tent. Tent? <coughs> asks Peppa. What about the camper van? <coughs> no camper van tonight, <coughs> says Mummy Pig. We're going to sleep under the stars instead. Wow! Everyone helps pitch the tent. <laughs> this is the same tent I had when I was a little boy, says Daddy Pig. <laughs> it looks a bit little, says Peppa. <laughs> it suited me just fine then, says Daddy Pig. <laughs> yes, but you've grown since then, Daddy Pig, <laughs> says Mummy Pig. <laughs> and your tummy has grown most of all, Peppa giggles. <laughs> Speaking of tummies, it's time for supper, said Mummy Pig. <laughs> Daddy Pig builds the fire. They all eat tomato soup. Hmm. Time for bed, <laughs> says Daddy Pig. <sighs> Oh. Peppa and George snuggle into sleeping bags. Stars shoot across the sky above their heads. 
Do you miss the camper van, Peppa? Asked Mummy Pig. Oh no, says Peppa. Unless it has a button for shooting stars. They all giggle. I love camping. The end. Peppa Pig, Princess Peppa and the Royal Ball Princess Peppa is excited that her family is having a ball at the castle tonight. <laughs> Queen Mummy Pig and King Daddy Pig need help getting ready. There is so much to do before the party. Can I invite my friends to the ball? asked Princess Peppa. Of course, says Queen Mummy. Princess Peppa and Prince George go to the village. Princess Peppa invites her friends to the ball. Hooray! Hooray! they cheer. Everyone can come. Back at the castle, Grandpa Wizard is getting the ballroom ready. Wow! Princess Peppa wants to help. Grandpa Wizard uses his magic to make decorations appear from Princess Peppa's broom. Oh no! Some of the candles went out. Princess Peppa asks for help from a friendly dragon. Next, Princess Peppa helps King Daddy choose flowers for the table. They pick the best ones from the royal garden. <laughs> Princess Peppa brings the flowers inside. Thank you, Peppa. These are very pretty, says Queen Mummy. Why don't you check on the desserts, she asks Princess Peppa. Hmm. Peppa goes to the kitchen. What would you like to try? The royal baker asks. Everything, please, says Peppa says. This is the best job so far. The ballroom is ready. The food is ready. Everything is ready except Princess Peppa. She goes up to her room to change for the party. Ring! It is the doorbell. The guests are here. <laughs> Princess Peppa welcomes them to her royal ball. A trumpet plays. Prince George arrives in the ballroom. <laughs> Queen Mummy and King Daddy follow. Now the royal ball can begin. Wow. Everyone sings and dances along to the music. They eat yummy cakes and cookies. Hmm. Thank you for making the royal ball so special, Princess Peppa, Queen Mummy says. And so yummy, King Daddy says. <laughs> they all danced. Happily ever after. Yay! The end. Peppa Pig, babysitter. <coughs> Mummy and Daddy Pig are going out for the evening. Granny and Grandpa Pig are babysitting Peppa and George. Hooray! Granny Pig, Grandpa Pig, says Peppa happily. Daddy Pig, Papa Pig. George joins in. <laughs> Good night, says Daddy Pig. Good night, says Mummy Pig. Now go to sleep quickly. What little darlings, says Granny Pig. So well behaved. 
Peppa yawns and Daddy Pig switches off the bedroom light. Mummy and Daddy Pig leave for their evening out. Inside the house, Grandpa and Granny sit down on the sofa. They share a tasty pizza. <sighs> this babysitting is easy, says Grandpa Pig. In the bedroom, Peppa does not want to go to sleep. George, are you awake? She whispers. George grunts excitedly. Peppa laughs. She climbs down the bunk bed ladder and switches on the bedroom light. George picks up a spotted ball and bounces it to Peppa. She bounces it back. They both giggle. Soon there are toys all over the floor. It is so hard to go to sleep when playing is much more fun. <laughs> Grandpa Pig and Granny Pig are watching TV. Peppa and George come downstairs to the living room. George and I are not sleepy at all, says Peppa. Can we watch TV with you? Hmm. I suppose watching a little TV might make you sleepy, says Granny Pig. The TV show is about gardening. This program is very boring, says Peppa, yawning. She suggests playing a game instead. Grandpa, can you throw us up and catch us? asks Peppa. OK, but just one turn each, says Grandpa. Peppa laughs as Grandpa Pig throws her in the air, then catches her. <laughs> you, you seem heavier than before, says Grandpa Pig. Now it is George's turn, says Grandpa Pig. George loves feeling like he's flying. Hiya, hiya, shouts George, as Grandpa Pig starts to wheeze. Maybe Grandpa is a bit tired, says Granny Pig. Granny, let's play it, says Peppa. You're it. Peppa taps Granny Pig on the nose. Granny Pig chases Peppa George and Grandpa Pig around the sofa. I'm going to catch you, she cries. Everyone runs and giggles. Later, Mummy and Daddy Pig arrive back home. I hope our little piggies are asleep, says Mummy Pig. Peppa George, Grandpa Pig and Granny Pig are all snoring on the sofa. The little piggies are asleep, whispers Daddy Pig, and so are the big piggies. <laughs> The end. <laughs> Peppa Pig, the fire engine. <laughs> Mummy Pig is going to the mummy's fire engine practice. Oh! It's just a good excuse for a cup of tea and a chat, says Daddy Pig. I'm meeting with the daddy's football team and having a barbecue. <laughs> That's just a lot of grown-up boys kicking a football around, says Mummy Pig. Mummy, can we see the fire engine? asks Peppa. <laughs> fire engine, says George. <laughs> yes, Peppa, I'll take you and George, says Mummy Pig. Mummy Pig drives Peppa and George to Miss Rabbit's fire station. <coughs> Hello, Peppa and George, says Miss Rabbit. Come and see the fire engine. Oh! There's a ladder for climbing, says Miss Rabbit, a hose for squirting water, and a big bell to ring. <coughs> Miss Rabbit takes them into the control room to look for fires. Wow. Peppa spots a red phone and picks it up. 
Peppa, that's the fire phone, says Miss Rabbit. It's only to be used when there's a fire. Peppa puts the phone down. Suddenly the red phone rings. Miss Rabbit panics. Fire station, where's the fire? says Miss Rabbit. Can I talk to Mummy Pig, please? asks Daddy Pig. It's an emergency. I can't find the tomato ketchup anywhere. <coughs> Miss Rabbit puts the phone down. <coughs> How many fires have you actually put out, Miss Rabbit? asks Mummy Pig. <coughs> uh, none, replies Miss Rabbit. <coughs> Not one fire, but you've got to be ready. <coughs> the red phone rings again. Hello, Daddy Pig, says Miss Rabbit. This phone is only to be used when there's a... Fire! shouts Daddy Pig. Oh, no! Oh, dear! Daddy Pig's barbecue is on fire. <coughs> Mummy's to the rescue! says Miss Rabbit. <coughs> Miss Rabbit slides down the pole to the fire engine. All the mummies slide down the pole. Peppa and George hold tight and slide down the pole too. <laughs> they all get into the fire engine. Miss Rabbit puts on the siren and drives them to Peppa's house. The fire engine arrives at Peppa's house. Stand back, daddies! shouts Miss Rabbit. Mummy Pig and Mummy Sheep hose down the barbecue. The fire is out. <laughs> Thank you for saving us, Miss Rabbit, says Daddy Pig. No problem, it's all part of the service, says Miss Rabbit. The Mummy's Fire Engine Service, says Mummy Pig. <coughs> and now that Miss Rabbit has kindly flooded our garden, says Daddy Pig, we can all jump up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> I love fire engines, says Peppa. <coughs> Especially when they make muddy puddles. <laughs> the end. Peppa Pig, Emily Elephant. This is Peppa's friend, Emily Elephant. Hooray! Emily is very talented. Wow. Emily knows how to play the recorder. You can play, says Peppa, and I can dance. <laughs> Emily has a long trunk. She uses it to reach up high. I can catch the basketball, shouts Emily. I like having you on my team, says Peppa. When Emily wants to see Peppa, all she has to do is give her a call. <coughs> wow, cries Peppa. That was loud. <laughs> Sometimes Peppa goes out with Emily and her little brother Edmund. <laughs> We're going walking today, says Emily. It's called hiking, says Edmund. <gasps> Edmund is a bit of a clever clogs. Peppa has lots of fun with her friend Emily. <laughs> when they first met, Emily was a little shy. But she is definitely not shy anymore. Peppa loves Emily Elephant. Everyone loves Emily Elephant. <laughs> the end. Hi kids, did you have fun watching this video? Then like and subscribe for more!